Hi, I'm Ibrahim, and here's the five-pointer from Yahoo Sport. Only one place to start, and that's with Wayne Rooney's incredible wonder strike for DC United against Orlando City. Have a look at this. Wimbledon, and it seems you cannot keep a good man down. Yes, just a few short months after suggesting retirement, Andy Murray was back on court competing in the men's doubles. It's transfer deadline day in England, so expect this video to probably be out of date already. Cricket's latest wacky idea, the 100, edges closer with the first player draft taking place last night. Afghanistan's Rashid Khan was picked first for the Trent Rockets, while Aussie Ashes star man Steve Smith joins Welsh Fire. No, I don't have a clue about those team names either. To the NFL, and in absolutely crazy scenes, the Steelers and the Browns kicked off week 11 by actually kicking off. Unless you've been living in a cave with your fingers in your ears, you might have heard the rumors about Frank Lampard heading home to Chelsea as their new manager. Well, today the Blues have confirmed the return of the club legend. Yay! And he seems happy to be back. You cannot make that decision wrong in football. Hmm. Given his side have actually missed two costly spot kicks so far this season, I very much doubt this is the sole reason for all your problems, Ole. Footballer, manager, reality TV star, now Harry Redknapp appears to have reinvented himself as an MC. <laughs> Arsenal. They also played in Europe last night, but we're not going to talk about that. What we will talk about is the footage released by police of Gunners defender Saeed Kolasinac fending off armed muggers. The Italian Football League has responded to a number of recent scandals by setting up a brand new anti-racism campaign, but have a look and tell me what you think is wrong with it. Now, you can't help but feel there was a missed opportunity to make a real statement here. Yes, UEFA protocol was followed, but ultimately for me, the match shouldn't have continued. Walking off would have shown that racism is not tolerated at all, but hopefully now we'll see some real action. Aston Villa's Tyrone Mings used to work part-time as a mortgage advisor. This weekend, he could feature in Euro 2020 qualifying action for England. Everything has culminated together to get me to this point. Let's hope he can feel right at home for the three Lions. No, because he did mortgages and that. Welcome to Mirror Football's daily update. Arsenal were playing in Europe last night and it was a shambolic performance from Unai Emery's men in red. 3-1 they lost and I think you kind of predicted Mystic Richards. But if we don't see the Arsenal that we saw at Spurs at the weekend, then they will struggle. There you go, Manchester United, Zlatan Ibrahimovic reunited. See what I did there? Reunited. Right, that's it from me. For more, head over to Yahoo Sport. Thank you for watching.